Make sure you strategize your stone spending so you don't fall short during this year's anniversary. How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to strategize and prioritize your stones um, during the 8th year anniversary for the dual Dokkan Fest in part 1. You know, I know what you're thinking. It's a gotcha game, right? Well, how do you really strategize? Well, I mean, in my opinion, there are three major considerations that is knowing how many stones we are getting during the anniversary knowing your box and what is enticing to you and knowing what lies ahead so we're going to talk about those things in the relation to the seven the eight year anniversary dual dokkan fast banner so first off you know if you guys remember from our stone count video in the eighth anniversary we are expect expecting near 1500 stones so add that on to whatever stone count you have right now go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what that count is and you can start to then work from there now i know when most people approach dual do confess you'll see some youtubers do it you'll see a lot of other people do it like they like to do a rotation on each banner like do a rotation on the z duo banner do a rotation on this banner here or whatever the case may be now i'm here to tell you i don't think that that is a smart strategy you know feel free to disagree with me but in my opinion the best way to approach a major dual dokkan fest like this especially in a big celebration knowing that there are going to be four major banners throughout the celebration and it's so close to the worldwide download celebration um on global i think it's important to consider the second factor and that is what does your box need and what is enticing to you right so if you take a look at the gt dual banner here and you're somebody who missed out on say gamma 2 this might be the banner for you even though you know gt duo may be a card you want less but the gamma 2 is something you really need for your box right vice versa with the uh z duo banner right gamma one the return of cooler the gods um same thing over here we got the return of the seven year lrs forgot to mention that um if you're somebody who's missing those units those units may be more beneficial to your box in which case the z duo banner might be the banner for you in either case my advice to you is take a good hard look at your box take a good long thought about which of the eighth anniversary units you want the most and then to go all in on that banner no matter how many stones you have saved right assume you're going to be spending all of them to get the one copy of the unit you guys have seen my summon video on jp we went a thousand stones and pull the unit we wanted which was these uh gt duo so come prepared to think that you're going to only pull for the one i say to do this right because a lot of people tend to go back and forth they'll do a rotation or they'll do a couple rotations and then switch do a couple rotations and then switch i don't think that that's a good strategy um i think you know in the long run especially if you've got that bad rng for that moment you end up kind of wasting I mean, it's not necessarily a waste of stones, but as you saw in our What Are Your Chances video, the more stones you throw at a banner, the more likely odds are to roll in your favor. It's still a 5% chance every um, every multi, but the more times you roll that, the more chances you have to roll that 5%, right? So better to use all of those chances on one till you get the unit you need from the banner, whether it's the main unit or someone like the Gamma 2 or Gamma 1 and 2, the Cooler or the AGL Super Saiyans from Worldwide last year. I know those are kind of the most sought after units at the moment besides the main LRs. I always recommend going this way, going all in because here's the thing this celebration is only a month apart from the next big celebration which is the worldwide celebration that will likely introduce two new lrs plus two new carnival lrs that rival cooler right and the anniversary lrs themselves just as cooler and the agl super saiyan and bird Coup did to the set seventh year anniversary lrs whatever they are they will probably match them in power so 
you want to make sure that you're planning ahead. Think about it this way, right? If you only go in on one banner, you're bound to come up with a, with not only one of the units, but you're bound to come up with enough coins that in December, you can plan on picking up the other unit. Uh, I ask you guys to do this just to kind of, you know, set your expectations, right? It Statistically, I, I mean, it is a gotcha game, right? You could walk in and pull nothing, um, or you could walk in and pull both. You know, everybody's odds are going to be different. So I feel like this this approach is the best, most likely, uh, likely way to get what you want out of the anniversary. After all, like I said, we got Worldwide coming up in just a month after the end of this celebration. And there's also still the part two you have to worry about, right? If you're somebody who's missing these big yellow coin LRs, like the Frieza or the Metal Cooler or the Bird Coup, right? Um, or the Zamas, this is gonna be your chance to pick them up on a decently featured banner, you know, on top of wanting to pick up the part two LRs. After all, Kai Goku is really, really good. So, um, Knowing that, it's probably best to make sure you kind of consolidate your stones into one banner. Now, if you've got, say, only a thousand stones and you want to split it, you know, do I'm going to do 500 on part one and 500 on part two. I, I would say that that's probably the best bet, although I do argue that the eight. The, the dual Dokkan Fest is better, but I know some people are really interested in the part two. So I, would, I just thought I would throw that in there, but... Either either case, make sure, like I said, know what how many stones we're getting. 1,500 plus whatever you've got. Decide which banner is best for your box, whether it's the GT Duo or the Z2 Duo, and then go all in on that banner. But make sure you leave yourself just a little to rebuild um, come the end of the celebration. After all, like I said, we are coming straight into worldwide following these banners. So you want to make sure you're prepared for that on top of going after these LRs. So I just want to throw that out there to you guys. Like I said, this is a little bit of overview that I go over every year. A little bit of advice. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know, like I said in the beginning, what is your stone count? If you take what you got now, and add the 1500 from the anniversary what could you possibly be walking away with or how much are you dumping into these banners let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha